All right, so check this out real quick. Let's see if I can do this without getting it all blown out. That was the width that I had to back up into that space. That wasn't too bad. That was the issue. Now for the not so fun part. <sighs> that sucked. Eight foot tarps, especially these, they're just not worth it. And these things are phenomenal. They save the rub rail. And then if you have these little grooves right here, which I do in the center, I can actually tie stuff down in the center and you know tie it a long ways. So super super handy. But this is it. This is it doesn't look like much at all, does it? I mean this little piece of aluminum just <laughs> that's it. And then you just run it through like normal. And uh, load limit on it's 6,700 pounds, but awesome. You know, just awesome. The only thing you you do want to watch, which if you use it on this side and you're gonna have it this way, you need to make sure that maybe you're using straps and it's going directly up. You don't want it bending against the J-hook uh, because that's gonna wind up bending it. So avoid that. All right, so here's what we're looking at. And we've got our four tie down points. And then the fourth one's over there in the opposite corner. But as you can see, you could see me earlier where I ran those chains through that little eye hole. I had to take out the cotter pins on the hooks. So if you are buying your own chains, make sure that they have cotter pins on them because not all of them do. Now, I wasn't gonna turn this into a tarping video, and I'm still not. But uh, I am gonna go over a couple of things because there are some quick tips here that you guys could super, super benefit from. Now. I'm gonna turn you around, so stay right there. Okay, so don't judge this tarp job from the back here. Uh, it's kind of ugly in the very, very back, but I did that for a reason. And as you can see, air can easily escape back here in the back. And any air, it doesn't really matter how well you tarp it, you're gonna get air under these tarps somehow, and it needs somewhere to go, otherwise, you know, the tarps are gonna balloon out really big, and it's just gonna be nasty. So. If, backing up, I created seams on these two sides here, and I'm gonna just go over advanced techniques uh, in this video, but if you're looking for um, you know, my kind of uh, introduction techniques, check out the video up there in the corner. I'll link it, uh, link it up there, and uh, go check that, that one out, and then come back to this one. But, so anyway, you know, all of this is pretty much normal. Um, what I could change, I'll go over that in a second, but up here in the front, you can see how I wove it together like that. You know, this is not, uh, this is not a machine tarp, so I did the best that I could. It doesn't have a ton of D-rings, but this little, this little weaving job, you know, basically starting here, going through, no, I'm sorry, starting over here, going through this D-ring, and then coming back down to this one, you know, what that does is, if, if, this, if this tarp starts to flap back out at you this way, this is all going to catch it. So even though there's a bunch of excess tarp down in here, it's not gonna come out because you've basically sewn, you've sewn these together. And uh, we're losing focus there, sorry. 
but um, you've sewn these together and that's what that's what this little weaving job does um, I made sure that it was nice and tight on the sides down here on the bottom whenever I started and uh, and then I wove all this together nicely now I have a step deck and you know I've got to, you, you can see that it would be easy for air to just sweep in right here um, you know, here's another spot. You know, I was able to, to kind of put my tarps up against that J hook and that's gonna keep the tarp down on the deck and that's gonna keep minimal air going in. Uh, and that's the whole goal. That's the whole goal. But if I did not have, you know, if I didn't have this step deck right here, what I would do is I would have just pulled, I would have pulled the tarp more towards the front and then I would have, I would have a lot more excess up here and I would have just ran, you know, I would have uh, stuck a stick right here and then strapped that stick down uh, on top of the excess tarp and that seals it that seals it really nicely and that keeps a lot of the air out uh, you know on a flatbed but one more quick one more quick tip is right here and I don't have it yet but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it these d-rings see I've got a lot of play up here and there's just I can't do much about it because I don't have rope now they make what's called bungee rope and what you can do hook it into you know one of these d-rings or the front d-ring over here throw it over and then run it through the other side throw it back over and then you can just you know the parts that are loose you can tie all of that down and you'll have basically no flap like there's not going to be any flap up there so anyway there's some quick tarp tips i wasn't uh i wasn't planning on doing that but um you know, I, uh, I wanted to go ahead and throw that in there because, you know, there's some, uh, some solid ones, some good ones to touch on on this tarp job here. Um, you know, this, this, these tarps that I have, you know, I'm just, I'm not a fan. Um, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of them very, very soon because they're just, they're not the right tarps for this trailer. Um, stay tuned for that. Well, I'm glad that's over. That's a lot of work. Them, uh, them tarps I have are super heavy, but, um, Anyway, I think we are going to uh, we're going to head out now. We're going to run over to we're going to we're going to run back to the truck stop, and uh, we're going to grab a shower because, uh, well, quite frankly, we need it. <laughs> and then we're going to catch some gorgeous scenery because this is a very pretty drive. Um, on the way down, we're headed down to Yuma. Uh, we will be there on Sunday, which is tomorrow for me and today for you. So I think we're gonna go ahead and and wrap this up. I'm gonna catch some. I'm gonna catch some of that scenery. So that's what we're gonna have. That's how we're gonna roll this film. That's how we're gonna leave it uh, with some pretty scenery and maybe even a nice song. But um, also, also, I've got a little bonus video while I'm here loading up for all of you guys that are still with me. Um, they have these machines that I, I, I just I've never seen anything like it. I didn't even know a machine could could do this. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to make a, I think I'm going to make a video about it. Just a short one because it's, it's just, it's awesome. So look for that. That'll be coming out soon. I may even drop that, uh, the same day that this one drops. But anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, uh, if you're not subscribed, why not do that? Please now go ahead. Just, just click it and, uh, Ring that little notification bell so you know my next video is coming out. But as always, stay driven. All right. Well, we just pulled into a rest area because in the uh, in my side view, this tarp was flapping like crazy, and uh, I was able to see that we snapped. Here, I'll show you here, I'm right here. We snapped the bungee. So, it was flapping like absolutely crazy. So I need to check this out. Um, also, I think we lost another uh, D-ring. I don't know, I'm missing a few. I'm missing a few D-rings uh, on these eight footers. You know, unfortunately the quality just, uh, just really wasn't all that great and a lot of the D-rings have come out. I lost the D-ring actually two weeks after I bought these tarps and that was just securing a bungee. So uh, I wasn't crazy about it. Steve, honestly, I don't even know if I want to sell you these tarps, man. <laughs>
But um, anyway, we'll figure something out. But I need to check this load and then keep on trucking.